Good morning, class of 2022. Today we'll be talking about your scheduling options for your junior year. Teachers, if you haven't done so already, please pass out scheduling materials. Students, you should have two items, a green course selection sheet and a white scheduling worksheet. Your course selection sheet contains all course options available to you. For each class, you'll see the course name, the course number, and then a column to indicate whether the course has any prerequisites or teacher recommendations or additions required. On the scheduling worksheet, you'll write your course requests and you'll turn this into your counselor when you meet for scheduling. Please make sure you complete all 14 spots, which will give you a seven period day for both semesters. Also, please make sure you write down both the course name and the course number. The course description guide can be found on the Homestead website under Guidance and Course Descriptions. This contains more information about each course available to you. This contains course descriptions as well as prerequisites, grade weights, and graduation requirements. Some courses will have links to additional information including galleries or videos to help you decide if that course is right for you. Here's a sample page from the course description guide where you can see the course name, number, and prerequisites. For dual credit courses, there's information on how to qualify for the dual credit, as well as a link to the core transfer library. The core transfer library contains information regarding transferring dual credit taken in high school to other Indiana colleges and universities. There's some things you need to know before choosing your classes. Please make sure your course selections are working toward your chosen diploma. Every student's progress towards graduation is different, but most students will need two semesters of English. No, if you're planning to pursue the academic honors diploma, you cannot take English 11. Also, you'll need two semesters of math, two semesters of social studies, and two semesters of science. If you're unsure of what you need for graduation, speak to your counselor. This is a sample schedule. When, again, when completing your scheduling worksheet, be sure to enter the name of the course and the course number. You can find this information on your course selection sheet as well as the online course description guide. You have some new options for schedules as a junior. Open to Juniors is the Career Academy at Anthus. For this, students will attend Homestead for the first four periods of the day, then spend the second half of their day learning a trade at Anthus. Anthos offers trades such as welding, automotive repair, certified nursing assistant, and dental careers. Please refer to the course description guide for all of the programs offered at Anthos. Students must have room in their schedule to accommodate Anthos, again as it requires three periods of the day. Students also must complete an Anthos application. This is a sample Anthos schedule. Now that you have your materials, let's talk about the scheduling timeline. You received your materials today, December 5th. You should work on your schedules with your parents now and over winter break. Scheduling meetings start at the beginning of second semester. Students will schedule with their science class on their assigned day starting on January 22nd. If you do not have a science class, your counselor will call you down to student services individually. When your science class comes to schedule, please be as prepared as possible. Questions are 100% okay, but please don't come totally unprepared. This is one big way poor course choices are made. If you don't already qualify for dual credit but would like to take dual credit courses, First, check your PSAT scores that you'll get in January. For Ivy Tech, the required scores are 25 for reading, 26 for writing, and 27 for math. However, check the course description guide for specifics. If you don't already qualify for dual credit and you don't with your PSAT scores, you'll want to make sure that you sign up for the AccuPlacer. Your counselor will not place you in dual credit classes that require dual credit if you don't qualify at the time of scheduling. For information about the AccuPlacer, check your school email and your Canvas group class of 2022 for dates and details. Some final considerations as you choose classes for your junior year. It's important to challenge yourself. For college admissions purposes, they typically look at six semesters of high school, so this is the last year to positively impact your transcripts. Also, make sure you update your four-year plan in Indiana Career Explorer.
Note, June 4th at 2.45 p.m. is the deadline for schedule changes for both first and second semesters. This concludes the scheduling presentation. Please email your counselor if you have questions. Thank you.